time once again for another edition of the Pie Squad. Today we head downtown to Salt Lake City and check out the wares at Vinto. Pizza that gives you that uh, nice blistered charred crust. This one was a lot different though than uh, some of the other ones we have. It had crunch all the way through. The crust was phenomenal. There was a super nice char on it that was about a little um, wood burn flavor to the palate without being overdone. I think the big thing about this pizza and why I like it so much is that it strikes some kind of incredibly hard to hit uh, medium between tradition and originality. So it's definitely pizza, there's nothing weird about it, but the ingredients are all of such high quality and the crust recipe has been developed to this point where as Ori said it has this perfect texture. So um, so it's it's a whole new level of, of, of pizza eating. You know, I think that the uh, the pizza here is incredible. Um, you know, not only the presentation, but the aromas. The, the, space. the, the space is beautiful. I mean, I love the you know the black and the white uh, with with the pops of color. It's it's right. almost just like the pizza. Right. You know, pizza has that same sort of you know neutral tones, but then with the pops of tomatoes or peppers or melon or, or something right. else. Right. And I think you could compare it to the beer in that way too. Today we're pairing these pizzas with. Uh, the organic brown rice ale that we brew at Epic Brewing Company. This has a, a really nice um, earthy uh, texture to it with the, uh, with the crust being as, as crunchy as it is. I, I felt that it really paired well with the, uh, with the, the brown rice ale. I was a little underwhelmed by, by the cheese. Uh, you know, it was, it, was, it was a good mozzarella, but uh, it didn't, you know, really, it didn't really do anything for me then, so I think that's uh, probably the main reason why I came in, uh, I believe, as the low man on uh, on the totem pole today. Uh, I came in with an 84, still a solid, solid score. This is uh, definitely one of the best pizzas uh, I think you'll find anywhere in, in Utah. Our usual measuring categories uh, don't quite fit in a way. I mean, it's like the sauce, well, there wasn't really I mean, sauce to speak of, you know? I mean, cheese, there was mozzarella on one and parm on another, and um, so, you know, the, the sort of typical American pizza breakdown doesn't really fit. So I gave it a whopping 93 points, and I'll be back. <laughs> um, I, gave, I gave the pizza here a score of 93. Um, it was hard to find anything wrong with any of these pizzas. Uh, my only uh, complaint was the sauce was a little bit thin, but in the case of, of the pizzas that the sauce was thin, there were there was you know fresh tomatoes, and, and that that brings a lot of uh, juiciness and, and, and flavor to the to the to the pizza. And I uh, gave this pizza 94 points. Uh, the presentation for me was really kind of a standout. The the chalkboard um, serving boards were really lovely. They made the colors kind of pop against the black. Um, we had beautiful reds and browns and greens and oranges, and it just looked really lovely on the presentation. So I also will eat that. It's delicious. Another great pizza to be found right here in Salt Lake City, uh, right on uh, 4th East and 2nd South in Salt Lake. Vinto comes in with a 90.4. That is a uh, score that is going to be tough to beat. That'll do it for this edition of the Pie Squad. You can find uh, all the episodes on our website, parkcity.tv. You can also go to saltlakemagazine.com and get more information. For all the members of the Pie Squad, good eating.